Sardar Vallabhai Patel's biography. Sardar Vallabhai Patel was a senior leader of the Indian National Congress and a prominent figure in the Indian freedom struggle who later became India's first deputy prime minister and first home minister. Vallabhai Patel was popularly known as Iron Man of India and Sardar. Friends, let's see about his life, vision, views and important contributions to modern India. Vallabhai Patel's Early Life Vallabhai Patel was born in Nadhyad, Gujarat on October 31, 1875. His full name was Vallabhai Javarbhai Patel. He was one of the six children of Javarbhai Patel and Ladbha. Patel's date of birth was never officially recorded. Patel entered it as 31st October on his matriculation examination papers. He got married at the tender age of 16 to Jhavar Ben Patel in the year 1891 and the couple had a daughter Mani Ben in 1903 and a son Dhaya Bai in 1905. Vallabhai's education. Vallabhai's childhood was spent away from books in the ancestral fields at Karamsad. He was already in his late teens when he passed out from the middle school at Karamsad. Patel passed his matriculation in 1897 at the relatively late age of 22. He was generally regarded by his elders as an unambitious man destined for a commonplace job. Patel himself, though harbored a plan to study to become a lawyer, work and save funds, travel to England and become a barrister. Patel spent years away from his family, studying on his own with books borrowed from other lawyers, passing his examinations within two years. He then established a small practice at Ghodra. Vallabhai became quite popular here as a defense lawyer and now he wanted to go to England and qualify as a barrister. From his practice at Borsod, he had earned enough for his expenses, but owing to certain circumstances, he was not able to make the trip at once. Sada Patel came to know that his brother Vithalbhai too cherished a dream to go to England for studies. In keeping with concerns for his family's honour, disreputable for an older brother to follow his younger brother Vallabhai Patel allowed Vithalbhai Patel to go in his place. His wife, Zave Bai, died early in 1909 after an operation for some abdominal malady. Patel was given a note informing him of his wife's demise as he was cross-examining a witness in court. According to witnesses, Patel read the note, pocketed it and continued his cross-examination and won the case. He broke the news to others only after the proceedings had ended. Patel's journey to England. At the age of 36, he journeyed to England and enrolled at the Middle Temple Inn in London. He completed his 36 months course of advocacy in just 30 months and Patel finished at the top of his class despite having no previous college background. When he was studying law in England, he was affected by English lifestyle a lot and he adopted it passionately. When he returned from England, his lifestyle completely changed. He used to speak in English most of the time and often wore suit with tie. At that time, he was one of the renowned lawyers of Ahmedabad and became one of the city's most successful barristers. Sardar Vallabhai Patel's role in Indian freedom movement In the initial stages of the freedom movement, Patel was neither keen on active politics. However, the meeting with Mohandas Karamchand Gandhi in Godhra in 1917 fundamentally changed Patel's life. From 1917 to 1924, Patel served as a first Indian Municipal Commissioner of Ahmedabad and he was a President of the Municipality from 1924 to 1928. When Mahatma Gandhi started the Indigo Revolt for Peasants, Patel got impressed by him. On Gandhi's call, Patel quit his hard-earned job and joined the movement to fight for exemption of taxes in Kheda at the time of plague and famine in 1918. Patel joined Gandhi's non-cooperation movement in 1920 and travelled around West India to recruit 3 lakh members. He also collected more than Rs 1.5 million for the party fund. 
there was a british law banning the hoisting of the indian flag when mahatma gandhi was imprisoned it was patel who led the satyagraha movement in nagpur in 1923 against british law it was the bardoli satyagraha of 1928 which earned vallabhai patel the title of sardar and made him popular throughout the country so great was the impact that pandit motilal nehru suggested vallabhai's name to gandhi ji for the presidency of the congress in 1930 the british arrested sardar patel during the sol satyagraha and put him on trial without witness On the outbreak of the World War II, nineteen thirty-nine, Patel supported Nehru's decision to withdraw Congress from central and provisional legislatures. Patel was at his persuasive best when he spoke at the Gwalia Tank Ground, now called Agus Kanti Maidan in Mumbai, to launch the nationwide civil disobedience movement in nineteen forty-two at the behest of Mahatma Gandhi. During Quit India movement in nineteen forty-two, the British arrested Patel. He was imprisoned with the entire Congress Working Committee from nineteen forty-two to nineteen forty-five at the fort in Ahmednagar. Sardar Vallabhai Patel as Congress President. After the signing of the Gandhi Irwin Pact, Patel was elected President of the Congress for its nineteen thirty-one session in Karachi. Congress committed itself to the defense of fundamental rights and civil liberties. Patel advocated for the establishment of a secular nation. Minimum wages for workers and the abolition of untouchability were among his other priorities. Patel used his position as Congress president to organize the return of confiscated land to farmers in Gujarat. Patel worked extensively against alcohol consumption, untouchability, caste discrimination and for women emancipation in Gujarat and outside. Patel's contribution in post-independence India. When India attained independence, he became the deputy prime minister and was responsible for the home states and the information and broadcasting portfolios. As the first home minister and deputy prime minister of India, Patel organized relief efforts for refugees fleeing from Punjab and Delhi and worked to restore peace in what was to become Sardar Patel's most lasting legacy he took charge of the state's department and was responsible for the accession of 565 princely states into the union of india paying tribute to him nehru called sardar the builder and consolidator of new india He reorganized our services which had become depleted with the departure of the British and formed a new ad- Indian administrative service to provide a stable administrative base to our new democracy death of sardar vallabhai patel sardar patel passed away on 15th december 1950 at birla house in bombay present day mumbai following a massive heart attack His birthday 31st October is celebrated as Rashtriya Ekta Divas or National Unity Day in India. His 182 meter statue, world's tallest statue, has been erected at Sarovar Dam, Garudeshwar in Narmada district of Gujarat. It is called the Statue of Unity. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated the statue on 31st October 2018. The statue was designed by the famous sculptor Ram V Sutar. Awards and honors of Sardar Vallabhai Patel. He was awarded the title of Sardar due to the efficient leadership of the Bardoli Satyagraha. In 1991, posthumously, Sardar Vallabhai Patel was awarded the country's highest honor, Bharat Ratna. The Statue of Unity dedicated to Sardar Vallabhai Patel is a memorial located in the state of Gujarat, India, near the Narmada Dam. Ahmedabad Airport is named Sardar Vallabhai Patel International Airport. There were many who used to think that a diverse country like India can never remain united. It will fall apart. But Sardar Vallabhai Patel showed how it is done. We should learn how to grow from the strength to strength, how to always stay united. Present day India owes an immeasurable debt of gratitude to the vision, tact, diplomacy and pragmatic approach of sardar jai hind thank you